give you a big blow. The DNC disappointment goes far beyond the local political and business communities. As our Tony Atkins reports, the people who live here are disheartened, but they understand the reason behind these decisions. It's a tough decision, but it's a decision made to protect the public health. Today, people I spoke with say they're disappointed, but they understand the reasoning behind the decision. It's really disappointing because this was this was going to be Milwaukee's year and we were going to shine all the great things, you know, show the world all the great things that uh, Milwaukee has to offer. So it's unfortunate that you know, this happened to us this year. Deflating news for people who, at the very least, were looking forward to a visit from former Vice President Joe Biden. It is disappointing. It would have been nice if he could at least made the appearance. Democratic leaders say the decision was made after consulting public health officials. An event once expected to draw 50,000 people to the city now altered during the pandemic for safety reasons. The coronavirus, uh, like, Change a lot of things. Personally, I'm not passing judgment on anyone who's doing what I think is best for them. And while disappointed, people are optimistic for a bright future for the city on the other side of COVID-19. This is hopefully just this one year thing and that this will pass and we can get back to showing off the city how great it is. The DNC was expected to bring in $200 million to the Milwaukee area economy. Reporting in Milwaukee, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.